Hey guys, it's Anne over at the Plant Obsessed channel, and today I'm going to try and harvest my urban worm bag. I've been putting it off because I had a really wet feeding that ended up coming through and leaking and making a big ass mess. Leaked everywhere. As you can see, the zipper and everything is, is kind of yucky. The bag is dirty. Kind of disappointed in myself for not keeping a better control of that, uh, but live and learn and somehow I managed to always learn from the hard way. So this is one of the faults I can see of the bag systems. I am not 25 years old and I am currently, this is less than nine inches off of the ground. So now I'm going to do something that is cinematically, probably, definitely, not all that entertaining, maybe it is, but uh, now I'm crawling around on my hands and knees, standing on my head, going to harvest my urban worm bag. So if I get in the way of the camera, I apologize, but I've been putting this off because this is not super easy to get to. Oh, jeez, calcified. Um. It's, that's, dang it. This is another reason you don't want to get it to, so wet that it leaks. I'm going to have to go get a pair of pliers. All right, I'm back. So I don't know if pliers or vice grips are going to be the uh, tool du jour. Also brought my cheaters so that maybe... a little better than what am I doing. I don't know if you can see exactly what my problem is here, but salts or whatever oozes through the bag is making the zipper um, no bueno. Okay, so I'm going to put you on the clip mount around the back here and maybe you will be able to see what I'm doing. Kind of got this little doodad thing. It's got the little binder clippy thing. Really good for getting into areas that you can't get a tripod or whatever. Something to uh, make it easier to get around the other side of it. Sorry if this is ending up being a little Blair Witch project. <clears throat> I should have went with my first instinct and used the vice grips. So I wouldn't have to figure out how to find it again. Alright, let's see if I can pull it out just a little bit. Without destabilizing the whole thing. Scrub brush. Okay. I've got a little bowl of water and a scrub brush. I'm trying to see if I can clean up some of the calcification. And Although the reason I have to stand on my head is the design of this, the reason that it's all calcified, that's on me. Not really anticipating that pureed apples would be so wet that they would leach out and calcify the zipper on the bag. So that's totally on me, but my mistakes are your gain so that you don't do it um, when you have the opportunity to have a really big wet feeding, you might think about what is this going to do for my ability to harvest. Let's 
see if that's good enough. Glad that worked. I don't know if you can see how saturated that bottom is with um, leachate, but there you get it. Now this is in su such rough shape that I am actually going to put on gloves because this is going to be ugly. Okay, so here's the little string thing. Gonna open that up and then I'm gonna do the harvest here. Trying to get everything from the harvest panel down out. The last time it was just so horribly mucky that I ended up just putting it back on top. It was like peanut butter. This is a little bit better than what it was last time. And from what I understand, that is that's typical, is that each time you harvest, the consistency of everything will be better. And I think I'm up to where the zipper is. And I'm not sure I want to go any too much farther. I need to finally get decent castings and then screw up the system by having it collapse on me. Right, pull the drawstring shut. Find the little doodad here. Wad that back up, pull that back under, and then zip it shut, maybe. But I am going to clean up that zipper again from the outside. So I will bring you up here and show you the castings. Not as bad as I thought they were going to be. They're definitely finished. I mean, of course, there's the mulch and the sticks and things that don't break down very quickly. Um, you know, the green bags are, are getting there. I'll put that back in the top, but I'm going to let this dry a little bit for a couple of days. I'll sift it and put whatever's uh, left over back in the top. Um, and then I'm going to make dang sure that I don't overfeed to the point where it drips out the bottom again because this has not been super fun. But for good, bad, or ugly, I'm going to make sure that everybody has all the information they can when they're worm farming and some of the trials and tribulations you may have depending upon your act level of activity. And so Give me a mighty thumbs up if you liked the video or you found it informative. Click the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Um, and then uh, hit the little bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Of course, Rosebud always wants to know what I'm doing. So thanks for hanging out with me and my worms today. And everybody have a good night.